the doll hospital. Peppa, George and Susie are playing in the garden with their favourite toys. George has Mr Dinosaur, Susie has Penguin and Peppa has Teddy. Teddy, what game shall we play? Squeak, squeak. You want to roll down the hill? OK. <laughs> <laughs> Let's jump in muddy puddles! <laughs> What's that, Teddy? You want to jump in muddy puddles too? OK! Splash, splash, splash! Oops! Pepper has slipped and fallen on Teddy. Sorry, I sat on you, Teddy. Are you all having fun? Yes! Yes, yes Mummy Pig! Oh, Teddy, you look a bit under the weather. What do you mean? Teddy is a bit muddy. Oh, I took Penguin to the doll hospital and now he's as good as new. What's a doll hospital? It's where dolls go to get better. They get washed, filled up with stuffing and even get new voices. You are my best friend. Susie. I love you a lot. Susie. Ooh. Mummy, can we take Teddy to the doll hospital, please? What a good idea. This is the doll hospital. <laughs> Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Peppa. Welcome to the doll hospital, where we turn dolls like this into dolls like this. Ooh. Ooh. Have you got a sick dolly? Yes. What is it? A mouse or a dog? It's a bear. Well, we have got our work cut out, haven't we? Ah! And a dinosaur. Are you booking them both in? Yes, please. OK. So tell me, little bear, what have you been doing to get so poorly? Teddy has been rolling down hills, jumping in muddy puddles and being sat on. It's no wonder you're not looking your best. There'll be no more rolling down hills, jumping in muddy puddles or being sat on once I've finished with you. But Teddy likes doing those things. You do seem a bit floppy. Nothing some extra stuffing won't fix. What do you mean? Look, this elephant is a bit sad, but he just needs more stuffing. Teddy likes being floppy. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Would Mr Dinosaur like some extra stuff? <laughs> OK. Would Teddy like a new outfit? Here we have a smart sailor's uniform. But Teddy is a girl. Girls can be sailors too, Peppa. Yes, but Teddy doesn't want to be a sailor. How about a pilot? No. Deepsea diver? No. What about a princess? I think Teddy is happy not to have any clothes, thank you, Miss Rabbit. What about Mr Dinosaur? No. Fair enough. Would Teddy like new eyes? You know what they say, the eyes are the windows to the soul. What's a soul? Uh, it's a bit complicated. Just look at these eyes. We've got green eyes, blue eyes, or even these googly eyes. The soul thingy might look a bit wrong with those eyes on. Teddy's eyes don't need changing, thank you, Miss Rabbit. What about Mr Dinosaur? Does he want some new eyes? No. Fine. One thing I can offer you, Teddy, is a new voice. The voices come in little plastic boxes which go inside the doll. Hello. I love you. That isn't how Teddy talks. I'm so happy. I want to play. That's not Teddy. You are my best friend. But that's Penguin's voice. You are my best friend. Susie. Mr Dinosaur, do you want a new voice? <laughs> Silly question, really. There is one last thing I can do for you, Teddy. That's give you a wash. No, Teddy doesn't need a wash. OK, I'm finished. And it's good news. There's nothing wrong with Teddy or Mr Dinosaur. That's wonderful. Would you like to pay by cash or credit card? Oh. Teddy, I love you just the way you are. And I always will. <laughs> Scooters! It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and George are playing on their scooters. Whee! <laughs> vroom, vroom. <laughs> oh. George is still learning how to scooter. He is a bit worried. George, 
George, <laughs> shall I teach you how to scooter? <laughs> OK, you hold on to the handlebars like this with both hands. Now stand on the scooter. Oh No, George, stand on the scooter with one foot. Good. <laughs> now push off with the other foot like this. to scooter. <laughs> Peppa, George. That's enough scootering for now. It's time to go to playgroup. Oh, we've only just started scootering. <laughs> Can we ride our scooters to playgroup, Daddy? Good idea. We could do with the exercise. Hooray! Ready, steady, go! Whee! Wait for me! See you later, Mummy Pig! See you later! Pepper and George are riding their scooters to playgroup. Not so fast! Come on, Daddy! Daddy can't keep up! Wait for me! Pepper and George have arrived at playgroup. Bye. Oh, now I'm going to have to walk back home. What I need are some wheels. Hang on, I've got wheels. Whee! Ha <laughs> ha, this is fun. <laughs> Daddy Pig likes scootering. Brum, brum. Whee! <laughs> Daddy Pig, you're riding Peppa's scooter. Yes, scootering is such fun. You should try it sometime. <laughs> Peppa and George are painting pictures at Playgroup. Madam Gazelle, we came to school on our scooters today. <laughs> Very good, Peppa and George. Let's all paint pictures of how we came to school today. <laughs> I came on my bicycle. <laughs> Very good. I walked here. So nice to get the fresh air in your lungs. My granddad brought me in his truck. Broom, broom, broom. Uh -huh. Lovely. It is time for Mummy and Daddy Pig to pick up the children from playgroup. Have you got the car keys, Daddy Pig? I don't think we should take the car, Mummy Pig. But it's a long way to walk to playgroup. We don't have to walk. I made that mistake this morning. We can scooter. Race you! Whee! What? Are you sure? Uh, OK. Whee! Whee! Mummy and Daddy Pig are scootering to playgroup to pick up Pepper and George. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> that was great. I told you we wouldn't have to walk. Mummy! Daddy! You brought our scooters! <laughs> Hooray! Whee! Whee! Ah, uh, yes. That seems to leave us without scooters for the journey home. Daddy Pig, you said we wouldn't have to walk. We won't have to walk, but we will have to run. Race you! Hey, wait for me! Whee! <laughs> this is fun! Peppa! George! Oh, wait for Mummy and Daddy! <laughs> Peppa and George love scootering. Everybody loves scootering. <laughs> holiday in the sun. It is the first morning of Peppa and her family's holiday in Italy. Ah, holiday. Daddy Pig is up bright and early. I'll just go for a little walk. Good morning, Mr. Pig. I see you have found the swimming pool. This is Signor Goat. It is his job to look after the holiday house. <laughs> Daddy fell in the water. It's not funny. It is quite funny, Daddy. Ho, ho. I suppose it is a bit funny. This is my daughter. Hello, I'm Gabriella Goat. I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> Tell us if you need anything at all. We'd like to do some sightseeing. The village is very pretty. Bleh. I will show you. 
OK. I'll just change out of these wet clothes. I don't look like a tourist, do I? You look perfect. Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy Pig. Then let's go. <laughs> this is Gabriella's village. <laughs> <laughs> Here is the shop of my auntie. Can I send a postcard? Who is it for? A goldfish. A goldfish? Maybe a postcard of the sea. Yes. Goldie the fish likes water. Bongo drums, carpets, garden gnomes. Who buys all this rubbish? Tourists. Oh, hello. Buongiorno. Mummy Pig is buying lots of things to take home. Mummy Pig, we haven't got room for all this in our suitcase. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. They sell suitcases too. This is the village cafe. Ciao, Gabriela. My uncle makes very good pizza. You eat pizza in Italy? Pizza is Italian food. Oh, goody. I like pizza. A little bit of tomato, a little bit of cheese, into the oven and... Into my tummy. <laughs> Maybe we'll let them cook first, no? OK. Pepper. Let's write the postcard to your goldfish. Yes. I miss her very much. To Goldie. Wish you were here. Love and kisses, Pepper. <laughs> you can post the card here. Goodbye, postcard. Fly home quickly. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Mmm, yummy. Pepper loves pizza. Everybody loves pizza. <laughs> Did you like that, Teddy? Yes, it was delicious. Magnifico, Uncle Goat. There will always be a special place for your pizza in my tummy. Thank you. Ciao. Goodbye. Oh, dear. Pepper has left Teddy behind at the cafe. What a lovely, relaxing holiday we're having. Oh, dear. It's the police. Leave the talking to me. Hello, officer. I don't know what I did, but I won't do it again. Mr. Pig, you're Teddy. Teddy! Thank you. Just doing my job, signora. Pepper and her family have arrived back at their holiday house. Time for bed. Can we ring Goldie the fish, Mummy? OK. Granny and Grandpa Pig are looking after Goldie the fish while Pepper is on holiday. I do hope we're feeding Goldie enough. Hello? Hello, Grandpa. Is Goldie all right? Goldie is fine. I sent her a postcard today. Has it arrived? Oh, not yet. But I'm sure it will get here soon. <sighs> night, night, Grandpa. Night, night, Peppa. <sighs> Peppa and George are fast asleep in their holiday house. Pirate treasure. Danny Dog is playing in his pirate den. <laughs> Here are Pepper and her friends. <laughs> Hello, Danny. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Do you want to play pirates? Yes. Get dressed up, then. Danny Dog has a dressing-up box full of pirate clothes. Ah! My hearties. I've got a treasure chest. Ooh. It's a biscuit tin. It's a treasure chest. But it's still got biscuits in. <laughs> uh, who wants a biscuit? Me! 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 Now it's a treasure chest. Let's find some treasure to put in it. Hurrah! Someone has to stay here to guard the pirate ship. Me! I will guard it. If you see someone coming, shout, Stop! Who goes there? Stop! Uh, who goes there? OK, let's go find some treasure! Hurrah! 
Danny Dog likes being a pirate. Hurrah! Everyone likes being a pirate. Hurrah! A jolly pirate we! That's how the deep blue sea to find a golden treasure for sail ahoy me! <laughs> Danny has found a pine cone. Treasure! <laughs> Pepper has found a shell. Treasure! <laughs> Susie has found an old bit of rope. Treasure! <laughs> Freddy has found a pebble. Treasure! <laughs> I'll just have a little sleep. Pedro <sighs> always takes his glasses off before he sleeps. <sighs> Let's creep up on Pedro! Yes! Danny, Pepper, Susie and Freddy are creeping up on Pedro. Boo! Oh! Ah! You were asleep! Uh. Yes, sorry. You're lucky we're friendly pirates. <coughs> We've got treasure. That's nice. Let's put it in the treasure chest. Now we can bury it. Yes! And I'll stay here and guard the pirate ship. OK, Pirate Pedro, but don't fall asleep this time. I won't. Hurrah! <sighs> The pirates are off to bury the treasure chest over a hill, round the little bush. Let's bury it here. How will we know where we've buried it? Let's make a treasure map. Over the hill, round the little bush, and X marks the spot. X marks the spot. Pedro has fallen asleep again. Oh! I'm awake! I'm awake! Pedro, don't you wear glasses? Uh, hello? Mummy Pony has come to collect Pedro. Who goes there? I'm your mummy, Pedro. Pedro cannot see very well without his glasses. Where are your glasses? Um, I don't know, Mummy. When did you last have them? When we put the treasure... Into the treasure chest. What treasure chest? The one we buried in the garden. Pedro's glasses are buried in the garden. Oh, dear. How are we going to find them now? We've got a treasure map. Mummy Pony is using Peppa's map to find the buried treasure. Over the hill, round the little bush, and X marks the spot. They have found the treasure. My glasses! Hurrah! Thank you! Treasure maps are very useful, especially for finding your glasses if you accidentally bury them. <laughs> <laughs> It is night time. Daddy Pig is reading Pepper and George a bedtime story. And so the prince, the princess, the budgie and the frog all lived happily ever after. The end. <laughs> the bedtime story has sent Pepper and George to sleep. Good night, my little piggies. <laughs> George is awake. I saw. George, you naughty piggy, go back to sleep. George is not sleepy. <laughs> George, night time is for sleeping, not playing. <laughs> I can tell you a bedtime story. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a little pig. His name was Georgie Pig. <laughs> and he was off to make his fortune. Soon he came to a forest. Do you like the story, George? <coughs> Inside the forest was a little house. And inside the house was a bowl of porridge. <coughs> Georgie Pig was very hungry, so he ate it all up. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> but just as he finished, Baby Bear walked in and said, Oi, did you eat my magic porridge? Georgie said, yes. 
Baby Bear said, That was magic porridge. It will make you go very big. And then Georgie Pig began to grow. He grew and he grew and he grew until he was taller than all of the trees in the forest. The end. Are you sleepy, George? No. Not even a little bit? No. <sighs> OK, I'll do a bit more story. Baby Bear said there is a box of golden treasure at the end of the world. But it's too far for me to go because I'm too little. Georgie said, I will carry you there. So Georgie Pig walked to the end of the world. He walked and he walked and he walked. Are you sleepy yet? No. He walked through forests, across mountains, across seas. And are you sleepy yet? No. He walked all the way to the end of the world and found a big box of golden treasure. Ooh. And a big dragon. Grrr. Yes. A big green dragon with little wings and breathing fire. Roar! Luckily, it was a very friendly dragon. And he said, you can have the treasure. But then Georgie Pig began to shrink. He shrank and he shrank and he shrunk until he was the same little Georgie Pig as he was before. How will we get back home now? said Baby Bear. I can fly you home, said the dragon. So Georgie Pig and Baby Bear hopped on the dragon's back and flew all the way back home to the little house in the forest. And then it's the end. George is asleep. Pepper is asleep. Pepper, what are you doing out of bed? Night time is for sleeping, not playing. Night night, my little piggies. Sweet dreams. Pepper and George are in their little beds, fast asleep. George's new dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> George is playing with his favourite toy, Mr Dinosaur. George loves playing with Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> Mr Dinosaur is made of plastic. It is almost impossible to break him. <laughs> Dinosaur! George loves playing with Mr Dinosaur in the bath. <laughs> Night time, George always takes Mr. Dinosaur to bed with him. Dinosaur! George! Mr. Dinosaur is broken! Oh! Mr. Dinosaur does not have a tail anymore. <laughs> Poor George! You have had Mr. Dinosaur a long time. I'm surprised he lasted as long as he did. Maybe it's about time you got a new dinosaur. Yes, we can go to Mr Fox's shop tomorrow. This is Mr Fox's shop. Mr Fox's shop sells everything. I'm sure we'll find you a lovely new dinosaur here, George. I'm sure. George does not want a new dinosaur. Look, George, a big dinosaur. <gasps> dinosaur. <laughs> Good morning. Can I help you? We'd like the dinosaur in the window, please. Certainly. Good choice. This is the dino roar. It roars, it walks, and it sings a dinosaur song. Dino roar, dino roar, listen to the dino roar. Roar! Wow! wow. Dino roar! <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> Roar! <laughs> George is playing with Dino Roar in the garden. 
Don't play too roughly with Dino Roar, George. He has moving parts and might get broken. George cannot play with Dino Roar in the garden. George wants to play with Dino Roar in the bath. George, if you get Dino Roar wet, he'll stop working. George cannot play with Dino Roar in the bath. It is night time. George has taken Dino Roar to bed with him. Maybe Dino Roar should sleep somewhere else. George cannot have Dino Roar in his bed at night. It is morning. Why is George looking so sad? George cannot play with Dino Roar in the garden, in the bath, or in bed. Never mind, George. Dino Roar can still roar. Dino Roar, Dino Roar, listen to the Dino Roar. Yeah. Oh. I think the batteries must have run out, Daddy Pig. Already? How many batteries are in here? Hundreds and thousands. Dino Roar needs lots of batteries to make him roar. Oh, what's this? A trumpet? <laughs> it doesn't work. I saw. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a trumpet, Pepper. You found Mr. Dinosaur's tail. Oh. Now, Daddy Pig can mend him. I'll try. Hmm. I think it might be quite difficult to mend. Oh. Daddy Pig has mended Mr. Dinosaur. Hooray! Oh, oh. I am a bit of an expert at mending things. George loves Mr. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur, dinosaur, hello, Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Dinosaur is George's favourite toy in the whole world. <laughs> Potatoes Christmas show. It is Christmas time, and Pepper and her playgroup are going to the theatre to see Mr. Potato's Christmas show. We're here. <laughs> Look, it's the Christmas vegetable family. Mr. Potato, Mrs. Carrot, Sweet Cranberry, and Little Sprouts. Here are your tickets. Find the seat with your number on it. Here's my seat. Number five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Quickly now, children. The show is about to begin. Um, Madame Gazelle, I need the toilet. Oh, Pedro. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Thank you. Quickly now, Pedro. I've never been to the theatre before. It's exciting, isn't it? Sorry. Uh, thank you. Shh, children. Everyone quiet now. What's that music? The show is starting. Oh, sorry, everyone. It is not the start of the show. It is Madame Gazelle's phone ringing. Wow! Whose phone is that? That really is the show starting. Welcome to the Mr. Potato's Christmas Show, where the magic of vegetables never ends. Ooh. Hello, children. I am Mr. Potato. This is Mrs. Carrot. Here is Sweet Cranberry. And here is everyone's favorite Christmas vegetable, Little Sprout. <laughs> <laughs> Little Sprout gone. Little Sprout, where are you? He's lost. Oh. Can you help us find him, boys and girls? Yes! <laughs> if you see him, boys and girls, shout out, There's Little Sprout! There's Little Sprout! That's it. When you see him, shout like that. There he is! He's behind you! Where? There! Behind you! I 
can't see him. They're not very good at looking, are they? <laughs> there you are, you cheeky little sprout. I'm the magic fairy carrot. Look, children, I can fly. There's a string lifting her up. I can grant you one wish. What do you wish for? I wish we had a Christmas tree. Your wish is my command. Ooh. Now we can sing our Christmas song. Would you like to hear it, boys and girls? Yes! Sweet little sprout on the Christmas tree. Potatoes, carrots and cranberry. It's, it's a, a very, very special Christmas with all our friends. Well, the magic of vegetables never ends. So that's the end. Goodbye, children. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas, Christmas everybody. That was a bit quick. Wait, there's one more surprise. A very important person has come to see you all. Ho, ho, ho. Can you guess who it is? Ho, ho, ho. It's the Queen. It's Father Christmas. Hooray! Hello, children. Have you all been good? Yes! Have you all been cleaning your teeth? Yes! Have you kept your bedrooms tidy? Uh... Jolly good! Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Now, let's all sing our Christmas song. Yes! <laughs> It is a lovely snowy day. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Peppa and her friends have come to the mountains to go skiing. See you all at the top. Come, come on, car. car. You, you can, can make, make it. it. Oh. oh. The car cannot drive up the mountain. The snow is too slippery. You have to take the ski lift. <laughs> the ski lift is carrying everyone to the top of Snowy Mountain. Uh, it looks a bit high. Whoa! Daddy Pig does not like heights. <laughs> <laughs> this is really fun. Oh, yes, really fun. <laughs> in the air, in a chair, snow is falling everywhere. Flying high and high and high. <laughs> the ski lift has reached the top of Snowy Mountain. <laughs> Daddy is a walking, talking snowman. <laughs> <laughs> skis, skis, get your skis here. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Skis for two grown ups and two children, please. There you go. <laughs> Madame Gazelle is the ski teacher. <laughs> Madame Gazelle, will we ski all the way down the mountain? <laughs> Not today, Danny. I think for now we will stick to the baby slope. The children are learning to ski on a little slope. To start, push off slowly with your sticks. Whee! To stop, point your skis together. <laughs> Skiing is fun. Let's go back up and do it again. Whoa. Whoa. Walking up slopes on skis is not easy. Uh -oh. To go up the slope, you have to walk sideways like a crab. <laughs> Everyone is walking sideways like a crab. Oh, I don't know. Please. Very well. Hoopla. That was amazing. Yes, I was the world champion at skiing and won this cup. Ooh. Now, which mummy or daddy would like a go? Why not? Are you sure, Mummy Pig? You haven't skied for years. It's just like riding a bike, Daddy Pig. You never forget. Here is the baby slope, Mummy Pig. 
I think I'm a bit grown up for the baby slope. Which way does this go? Ah! All the way down the mountain. My mummy is skiing down the mountain. Ah! Where are the brakes? Oh, she can't stop. We have to catch up with her. Ah! Stand back! Mummy Pig is skiing along the road. Ah! Everyone is in the coach, chasing after Mummy Pig. Wow! My mummy is skiing super fast! Whoa! 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 Mummy, did I loop the loop? That was fantastic skiing! Mummy Pig is skiing past the shops. Yeah! Ah! How am I going to stop? My goodness, a walking, talking snowman. No, it's just my mummy. <laughs> I have never seen such amazing skiing. This cup belongs to you. Thank you. My mummy is the best at skiing down the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Susie goes away. Susie Sheep has come to play with Pepper. Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Pepper. <laughs> Pepper and Susie are best friends. <laughs> Let's play in my room. I'll be the princess. And this is my plastic crown. I want to be the nurse. And I need to check if you are well. Say ah. <laughs> I've got a secret. What is the secret? My mummy has got a new job and we're moving to a new house. Wow! Mummy, mummy! <coughs> Susie is going to have a new bedroom in a new house. <laughs> yes, Mrs Sheep has just been telling me all about it. This new job is so much more interesting than the job I have now. And I'm going to learn a new language and do all sorts of exciting new things. <laughs> it sounds wonderful. I can't wait to play in Susie's new room. <coughs> oh, Peppa, Susie is moving to the other side of the world. You won't be able to play with her every day. But I'll see you every day at school, won't I, Susie? Yes, I'll still go to school, won't I, Mummy? You're going to a new school, Susie. Oh. oh. Will I ever see you again? Oh, I'm sure you'll see Susie again, Pepper. Yes. Oh, look at the time. We have to go. But, Mummy, we need to play some more. You can play some more tomorrow. Right now, we have to go and pack. Oh, bye-bye, Pepper. See you, Susie. Are you OK, Pepper? I'm sad. It's a bit of a shock, Susie moving away, isn't it? Yes. Why don't you make Susie a going away card? OK. <laughs> I'm drawing me and Susie and flowers. That's a lovely card, Peppa. Hmm. Would you like to talk to Susie on the phone? Yes, please, Mummy. Hello. Hello, Susie. I'm a bit sad. Me too. Are you still coming to play tomorrow? Yes, please. OK. See you tomorrow. <laughs> it is morning and Susie Sheep has come to play with Peppa. Race you to the next hill! <laughs> <laughs> I will really miss you, Susie. <laughs> And I'll miss you, Peppa. <laughs> I will even miss you bossing me about. What do you mean? You are the bossy one. No, I am not. <coughs> yes, you are. <laughs> we are both a bit bossy. <laughs> I'm so happy about this new job in a new country. I thought I'd be stuck here forever. So you said. <laughs> Are you ready to go, Susie? No, wait! <coughs> I made you a going away card. <coughs> Thank you, Peppa. 
And you can have this. It's my most favourite plastic crown because you are so special. And so you don't forget me and you must keep it forever. I will never forget you, Peppa. Don't go, Susie. Hello? Oh, I see. Right. They said I didn't get the new job. So you're not moving away? No. Are we staying here forever? Yes. Hooray! <laughs> I'm glad you're staying, Susie. Me too. Now you can give me my crown back. But you said I could keep the crown forever. I know. But you're not going away now. Oh. You can wear it when you come round. What about the card? You can keep the card. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are the best of friends. <laughs> Grandpa Pig is taking Pepper and George out for the day on his sailing boat. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Hello. Hello, old bean. Grandpa, that man just called you an old bean. Yes, Pepper. It's another way of saying old friend. Are they your friends, Grandpa? Oh, not really. We're just members of the same sailing club. Now, where did I leave my boat? What does your boat look like, Grandpa? It has a little red flag on top of the mast. Like that little flag? <coughs> ah, yes. Oh, dear. Grandpa Pig's sailing boat has sunk. I'm afraid we can't go sailing today, children. Oh. Here is Grampy Rabbit on his hovercraft. <coughs> what is that monstrosity? Is it a sailing club? Hello! What a marvellous day for sailing! Hello, Grumpy Rabbit! Pepper, you look sad. What's the matter? We can't go sailing because our boat has sunk. Oh dear. Why don't you hop onto my hovercraft? Hooray! <laughs> I really don't think this is quite... Hold on to your hat! <laughs> ah! Oh! Oh! Grampy Rabbit's hovercraft can go on land and water. I built it myself. You'd never guess, would you? We don't need that bit. You can't drive this thing around here. You're not a member of the sailing club. Well, you're a member, aren't you? Yes, but... That's all right, then. Nothing like a peaceful day sailing. The calmness of the water, the quietness of the... Oh, what's that horrible noise? Hello there! Lovely day for a sail! It's that monstrosity again! Is that Grandpa Pig? Uh, hello! <laughs> I say, is anybody else thirsty? Me! Me! I saw an old shed back there selling juice. That's not an old shed. That's the Sailing Club Cafe. It's for members only. Yes, whatever. Let's go and get some juice. <laughs> Hello there. Uh, four beakers of juice, please. I'm afraid you cannot be served here, sir, unless you're a club member. I'm not, but he is. Uh, hello. Four juices, please. Ah, yes, sir. This is the life, eh? The sea and the sky and the boat sailing by. But the boats are not sailing by, Grampy Rabbit. There's no wind. Without wind, sailing boats can't Help. sail. Help! 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 We need to rescue Help. them, Grampy Rabbit. Good idea, Pepper. Hold on to your socks. <laughs> Ahoy there! Toss me a line and I'll tow you back in! Here we go! Grampy Rabbit's hovercraft is towing the sailing boats back to shore. We're towing the boats to shore, boys! We're towing the boats to shore! We're towing the boats to the car park! Towing the boats to be parked! 
I brought everyone back to the car park. That way, they don't have so far to walk to their cars. But sailing boats don't go on land like hovercrafts. Oh, yes. Grandpa Pig, who is this friend of yours? So sorry about that. Sorry? Am I what? We want to thank him for rescuing us. Oh, I see. He's called Grampy Rabbit. Delighted to meet you, Old Bean. You're very welcome, Old Bean. Three cheers for Grampy Rabbit. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, 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 hooray! <laughs> Toy plane. Pepper and George are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Look, I've got something to show you both. Ooh. This is the dolly I had when I was little. She looks very pretty. Can I hold her? Yes, but remember Dolly is very old and delicate, so do be gentle with her. I will, Granny. Anyway, enough of that. How would you both like to see something good? Yes! We need to go to my shed. <laughs> Grandpa is always making little things in his shed. I suppose it keeps him happy. Look at this. Ooh. I call it Mark One. It's my first homemade toy aeroplane. Airplane! <laughs> George loves aeroplanes. Can it fly, Grandpa? Of course. Watch this. Uh, landing is the tricky bit. It is the best little plane ever, Grandpa. But it could be better if it were bigger. So I made this one, Mark II. Wow! wow. Gently does it. Uh... Yes, like I said, landing is the tricky bit. Lovely, Grandpa. It's good to get these things out of your system. And now that you've made a big toy plane, there's no need to make another, is there? No, Granny Pig. Um, you know what? I fancy a glass of orange juice. Good idea, Grandpa Pig. Is anyone else thirsty? Yes, please. <laughs> then I'll go to the house and get some juice for all of us. See you later. Peppa, remember to take care of Dolly. I will, Granny. Bye, Granny. Right, now I can show you what I've been working on. This is Mark Three. Wow! Yes, it's bigger and better. It even has a place for a pilot to sit. We can put George in it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no. I think that might be a bit dangerous. Aww. Maybe Dolly would like to be the pilot. But Granny said I should look after Dolly. Dolly will be fine. OK. <laughs> Let's see what it can do. The toy aeroplane is doing a loop the loop. Dolly! Oh no, Dolly has fallen out of the plane. No need to panic. Hooray! Let's try something even more exciting. Watch out for the house, Grandpa! Oh, it's fine. The door is open. Now, where is that juice? What was that? Ah, you see, I know what I'm doing. Clever, Grandpa. Now, I just need to land it. Gently does it. Ah, Dolly! Caught you! Hooray! Juice for everyone. Ah, Granny Pig. Perfect timing. What is that? Um, it's a toy aeroplane. A big toy aeroplane. Yes, I can see that. Grandpa did some fancy flying. And Dolly, 
Did you enjoy your playtime with Pepper and George? Grandpa put Dolly in the oven. Yes, yes. We've all had a lovely time. Yes, Grandpa. <laughs> Pepper and George love toy aeroplanes. Everybody loves toy aeroplanes. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Pig are taking Peppa, George and Susie Sheep to visit Tinyland. Daddy, what is Tinyland? It's a world just like the real world, Peppa, but very tiny. It will be fun and educational. Is it real, with real tiny people living in it? No, it's just pretend. If everything there is tiny and small, then we will be giants. And we will go, hello, little people. <coughs> and they will go, ah, giants. <laughs> but I can't wait to get there. Stop! What's the problem, Mr Bull? There's no problem, Mummy Pig. We're just digging up the road. Will it take long? It will take as long as it takes. But we're going to Tinyland today. Oh, I love Tinyland. Everything's so tiny. <gasps> and educational. That's important. Through you go. Thank you, Mr Bull. Thank you. Stop! But you let them through. They are going to Tinyland. That's important. Welcome to Tinyland, where everything is really tiny. And educational. Feast your eyes on the world of famous places. Wow! These are exact copies of real famous buildings, but a bit smaller. Ooh! Here's Big Ben, and next to it, the Eiffel Tower, just like it is in the real world. And the pyramids, Sydney Opera House, Statue of Liberty and the Kremlin. But these famous buildings aren't all on the same street in real life. Aren't they? Well, you learn something new every day. Oh, look at that! This is the land of water. Oh, there are tiny little boats. And there's even a tiny Miss Rabbit. Boats! Boats! Get your boats here! <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is just one of my many jobs. This looks just like Pirate Island. And there are some pirates. Ha -ha! Ha -ha! <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Dinosaur. This is the land of dinosaurs. Wow! This is how the world looked a long time ago, before houses and cars and stuff. Wow! Here is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> Ooh! And over there is a Triceratops. <laughs> One is a herbivore and the other is a carnivore. Oh, look! They are playing together, just as they would have done. Amazing! This is exactly as it would have been all those millions of years ago. Except for the train. All aboard! There you are again, Miss Rabbit, driving the train. <laughs> Where's it going now? To tiny modern land. <laughs> clickety clack, clickety clack, the train went on the track. Puff and puff, puff and puff, clickety clickety clack. <laughs> <laughs> this is like where we live, Peppa. Yes, there are houses and cars and hills and trees and trains and planes and boats. <laughs> it's a busy world. 24 hour non-stop. Oh, it's broken. No, it's not. Look there. Stop! It's a tiny little Mr. Bull digging up the road. That's what happened to us on our way here. Tiny land is just like the real world, down to every tiny detail. We're 
Pepper and her playgroup are visiting London for the day. Children, this is London. Wow, it's so busy. There's so much to see, I just can't decide where to go first. My friend the Queen lives in London. Maybe she can help. This is the palace where the Queen lives. Hello? Please, can I speak to the Queen? I am the Queen. Who are you? It's Miss Rabbit. You said if I was ever in London, I should drop in to see you. Ah, oh, Miss Rabbit. Come in, come in. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Queen. Queen. We're visiting London for the day. We were hoping you could tell us the best places to see. I can do better than that. After all, London is my city. I'll give you a guided tour myself. Hooray! <laughs> the best way to see London is on a double-decker bus. Ooh. Mr Driver, please may we borrow your bus. Borrow my bus? You must be joking. No, I am your Queen. In that case, Your Majesty, take it. If the Queen asks you to do something, you must do it. Everyone up to the top deck. <laughs> the bus has stairs in it. The double-decker bus has seats at the top. I am the Queen and I will be your tour guide today. Bus stop, Big Ben. <laughs> this tall clock tower is called Big Ben. Actually, Big Ben is the bell, not the tower. You know a lot for a little elephant. I'm a clever clogs. Oh. That was loud. That is the sound of Big Ben telling us the time. It rang three times, so it is three o'clock. If it rang six times, would that make it six o'clock? Yes, it would. And if it rang a hundred times, then it would be broken. <coughs> On with the tour. Next stop, Tower Bridge. We need to cross the bridge to continue the tour. Stop! You can't cross! Look, there's a big ship. <laughs> to bang into the bridge. <gasps> the bridge is lifting up. Wow! Tower Bridge lifts to let tall ships sail through. Good. Now the ship has passed, we can be on our way. Please lower the bridge. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but there's another ship coming. This is really too much. We can't wait around all day. Hold tight, everyone. <laughs> The bus is balancing on the bridge. Now what do we do? Hang on a minute, lads. I've got a great idea. Everybody move to the front of the bus. OK. <laughs> Hooray! The Queen is good at driving buses. Are you enjoying your tour, children? Yes! yes. Open-top buses are the best. <coughs> Why aren't all buses open like this one? It is raining. Ah, yes. That's why all buses aren't open like this one. Children, open your umbrellas. It is very important to take an umbrella when you visit London. <laughs> Let's stop Trafalgar Square. Oh dear, what a shame. Trafalgar Square is full of puddles. But we love puddles. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, have a seat. Your Majesty. It does look rather fun. And one is wearing one's boots. Whee! <laughs> the Queen loves jumping in London puddles. Everybody loves jumping in London puddles. <laughs> Miss Rabbit's taxi. Pepper and George are shopping with Mummy Pig. <laughs> That's a lot of shopping. It's for Grandpa Pig. My granny is going away on holiday. Oh, I see. That's a lot of shopping. It's everything on Granny Pig's list. Where's the car? I didn't bring the car. I didn't think you'd be buying so much. Oh, I'll call for a taxi. 
Hello, taxi service. A taxi will be with you shortly. Sorry, I'm just popping out. Back in a mo. Taxi service. Where are you going? Granny and Grandpa Pig's house, please. Righty ho, hop in. <laughs> So you've been shopping, lots of shopping about these days. Shopping for this, shopping for that, shopping, shopping, Miss shopping. Rabbit, why are you talking so much? It's what taxi drivers do, Pepper. Ah. Mind you, I had Mr Potato in the back of the car the other day. I thought he'd be... Granny well. Pig is going away for a few days. Grandpa Pig will be on his own. This is a tin of food. To get the food out, you will need this. It's a tin opener. I know what it is, Granny Pig. If you want to boil an egg, fill a pan full of water, Yes, then... yes, I know. <laughs> Granny Pig! <laughs> Hello, my little ones. We've got the shopping. But why are you not at the airport, Granny? Oh, yes. I'd better call a taxi. Taxi service. Hello, Granny Pig. I'd like to go to the airport, please. Of course. Hop in. Thank you. Daddy, can we wave Granny goodbye at the airport? OK. <laughs> bye. Bye, bye. Going to the airport, are you? Yes. And actually, we're in a bit of a hurry. Hurry in here, hurry in there. Why are people always in a hurry? Granny Pig has a plane to catch. She's going on holiday. Holiday? I never have time to go on holiday. I'm too busy being in a hurry. Miss Rabbit, are you talking like a taxi driver again? Yes. The taxi has arrived at the airport. Goodbye, my little ones. Bye-bye, Granny. Bye-bye. Pepper and George are waving Granny Pig goodbye. <laughs> Here is Mr Wolf. Taxi! Hop in. Bye-bye, Mr Wolf. Pepper and George love waving goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Daddy, how are we getting home? In the taxi. Oh, it's gone. Been on holiday, have you? I'm actually very tired. Do you mind if we don't talk? Talk? Yes, people talk too much these days, don't they? Talk, 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 talk. And they say some people can talk for hours without taking a breath. My sister can talk. She can... Hello, taxi service. Hello, could you pick us up from the airport, please? The airport? Righty-ho. Stop! Hello, Mr Bull. Are you mending the road? No, I'm supposed to be mending the airport. But my truck's broken down. I'm going to the airport. Hop in. Have you got any luggage? Just the sand. Miss Rabbit's taxi is full of sand. Bye, boss. Hello, oh, boss. Hello, lads. Here's that sand. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <coughs> no problem. Take us home, please, Miss Rabbit. Righty ho. There you are, my last taxi ride of the day. <laughs> now you can go home and have a rest. Ha! I should be so lucky. Sorry to catch you waiting. It's just another busy day for Miss Rabbit.